to start off with, we here at List25 don't condone manipulating people to get your way. With that said, there are some things you should be aware of because they might be helpful in your daily life. Also, other people might try manipulating you to get their way. This is pretty much the definition of advertising and marketing. I'm Mike with List25, and from using names to letting people talk, here are 25 psychological tricks that really do work. Twenty-five, Gifts Numerous studies have shown that offering someone even the smallest gift can radically change their disposition towards you. 24. Passive Voice When you don't want to be confrontational, but you want to get your message across, passive voice is your friend. Instead of, you didn't send me the spreadsheet, try, the spreadsheet wasn't sent. 23. The 10-Minute Trick if you don't feel motivation to do something, just do it for 10 minutes. Even if you don't keep doing it for longer, 10 minutes is better than zero. 22. Confidence. If you act like you know what you're doing, people tend to believe you. While I wouldn't ever suggest doing something illegal, this can certainly get you out of some tough spots. 21. Fear of loss. People are afraid of losing things. This is why only two seats left works when buying bus tickets, or why sales don't just go on forever. While this trick can be useful for motivating people, it can also be useful to prevent people from motivating you. 20. The Illusion of Choice If you want someone, lazy coworker, child, etc., to do something, just give them a faux choice. What I mean by this is, if you have to sweep the floor and fold the laundry, just ask them. So, do you want to fold or sweep? Since they feel like they have some control, they'll be more likely to do whatever they choose. 19. Door in face. This is a marketing technique that basically says to ask for something huge before you ask for what you really want. In other words, if you want a puppy, ask for a pony first. 18. Foot in door. Interestingly enough, this is the exact opposite of door in face. The theory is that if you ask for a small favor, people are more likely to comply with a larger one later on. 17. Silence. If you want more information out of someone, or you want a better deal, silence can work magic. In conversation, silence is awkward, and people will talk themselves into a hole just to avoid it. 16. Open body language. You can almost force yourself to be confident by assuming opening body language in any given situation. This means not crossing your arms, maintaining eye contact, etc. 15. Mirroring By lightly assuming a bit of a person's persona, you are more likely to establish a repertoire with them. Just don't go too strong. That could seem artificial and strange. 14. Favors whether you ask for one or someone offers to do something for you, these are a great way to make somebody feel useful and also establish a connection with them. Of course, don't go overboard. I'm talking about small favors only. 13. Agreement. This can be powerful, especially when you disagree. Try your best to find some common ground and start with that. For example, I agree with you here, but... Or, I understand this, but... 12. Tom Sawyering. This is when you pretend that something you don't want to do is actually really interesting or fun in order to get somebody else to do it. 11. Admit the little things. One good way to build trust is if you admit when you're wrong, especially on little things. You can even strategically take the blame for something you didn't actually do, not recommended from an ethical standpoint. This way, you're more likely to be trusted later on. 10. Neutrality. This is one of the best kept persuasion secrets in the world. If you show somebody that you are open to both sides of an argument, that person is far more likely to trust you. 9. The size up. If you walk in the city a lot, this can help you. Whenever you see someone shady, make eye contact, but don't glare. Now, quickly run your eyes down to their feet and then back up again. 
Finally, immediately look away and continue with what you're doing. This size up sends the message that you have assessed that person and do not see them as a threat. As a note, this works best if you're walking purposefully and have a strong posture. Even if you feel small, pretending to be the big dog can completely change the situation. 8. Don't argue your main point. When negotiating something, argue a secondary point. For example, if you want to build a wall, don't argue about whether or not the wall will be built. Immediately skip to who will be paying for the wall. Now people will take the existence of the wall as a given. 7. The baby smile. If you're not a parent, here's a life-altering secret. Smiling at a baby can work wonders when they're crying or upset. You would be surprised how fast their mood changes. 6. Bite a pen. This forces you to smile. Why would you want to do that? Because forcing a smile, even a fake one, can actually make you feel happier. 5. Avoid but. You may have noticed that even in this list I used the but. The agreement, not the body part. The truth is, however, that people are much more receptive to a yes and than they are to a yes but. 4. Using names. Using somebody's name can instantly make them like you more. Keep in mind, however, that you shouldn't overuse it. That could make them like you less. 3. Let people talk. Even if you already know something, let them teach you or show you. People love doing this, and if you really want somebody to enjoy their conversation with you, just get them to talk about themselves. 2. Phone interviews. Dress up in your professional clothes. I'm serious. Even though it's a phone interview, it'll get you into a more confident frame of mind. 1. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me that. When somebody already told you something, don't break them off with an abrupt, you already told me that. By letting them know that you remember what they said, they'll obviously realize that they don't need to tell you again, but they'll also know that you appreciate the things they say. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.